The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is, fourth chapter, text number seven, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on March 27th, 1974, in Bombay, India. Dadadadahi Dharunasya Granit Bhavati Bharata Kabhutyana Madharmasya Tadatmanam Sijamaham. This is a very important verse in the Bhagavad Gita. <coughs> Dharmasya. Dharma is translated into English as religion. And religion is described in the dictionary as a particular type of faith. So actually it is not that. Dharma does not mean a particular type of faith. Because faith, you may accept some faith, I may accept some faith, another may accept another faith, then there is no question of preaching. Everyone is satisfied with his own particular type of faith, then there is no need of preaching, neither there is need of Krishna's coming, descending on this planet. He said, yada yada hi dharmasya glani bhavati adharmasya abhutthanam tadatmanam se jamaham. If anyone accepts his own type of religion, so I may not like your religion, you may not like your, my religion, but everyone is right, then what is the use of Krishna's coming here to rectify adharma? Just try to understand. If everyone's religion is right, I may like or not like, that doesn't matter. You may like my religion. Then there is no question that any religion is irreligion. Just like uh, the, uh, some religion, they think killing of animals is their religion. And somebody thinks that killing of animal is irreligious. Then which is right, which is wrong? <clears throat> so dharma does not mean that you manufacture something, I manufacture something at home, or by some assembly, resolution passed. Just like in Western countries, there are so many uh, here also. By passing resolution, it is accepted as dharma. So Krishna is not speaking of that type of dharma. First of all, you have to understand. Jadajadahi dharma saglani. What is dharma? First of all, you have to understand. Dharma means occupation and duty. Uh, or natural characteristic, that is called dharma. Uh, just like sugar, sugar is sweet. The sweetness is dharma of sugar. Chili is uh, very hot. So the hotness is the dharma of chili. If the chili becomes sweet and sugar becomes hot, uh, that is all. Try to understand. Uh, so, first of all, uh, who can give us dharma? That is stated in the Shastra, dharman tu sakshat bhagavat pranitam. Dharma means the orders given by the Supreme Lord or Supreme Being, God. That is dharma. This is the shortest definition of dharma. Dharma to sakshat bhagavat pradita. Uh, just like law, 
law means which is given by the government. You cannot manufacture law at home. That is not possible. Ah. I have given this example many times, that in some country the law is keep to the right, in some country keep to the left. Ah. I think in America it is keep to the left, in England it is keep to the right, in India keep to Now, which one is correct? Keep to the left or keep to the right? No, according to the government. If the government says that keep to the right is right, then you have to accept that. And the government says keep to the left, that is right, then it is right. We cannot say that in my country I keep to the left, why shall I keep to the right? No, that will not be accepted. Try to understand what is really. So God is one. God cannot say somewhere that this is religion and this is not religion. God says, Bhagavan, Bhagavan Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, uh, here it is said that Jada Jadahi Dharmasya Glani Bhavati Paritrana the next verse is said, Puritrana sadhunam vinasaya cha duskita dharma saṁsthāpunā thāya cha sambhavāni juge juge. The two business, Krishna's, because he has already explained, bhūtānāṁ ishvara, I am the controller of all living entities. Therefore, when there is discrepancies in the execution of dharma, then he is to punish and reward. Puritrāra sadhuna vinā sāyate duskita. Two things. Uh, that's why like it is the government's duty to give protection to the law-abiding citizen and to punish the outlaw. These two duties of the government. Uh, and the Supreme Government, Krishna, because where from this idea came, the government rewards the law-abiding person or gives protection, and the not law-abiding, there is also protection, but under punishment. So dharma means, as Krishna says in the Bhagavad-gītā, Sarva dharmān puritajya mām ekaṁ saranaṁ vāyā. This is dharma. This is dharma. And our dharma, our characteristic is also that. Because every one of us, we have surrendered to somebody. Analyze everyone. He has somebody superior where he has surrendered. It may be his family, his wife, or his government, his community, his society, his political party, anywhere. You go. The characteristic is to surrender. That you cannot have. That was the talk with Professor Kotovsky in Moscow. I asked him, now you have got your communist philosophy. We have got our Krishna philosophy. Where is the difference in philosophy? You have surrendered to Lenin, and we have surrendered to Krishna. Where is the difference? Ah. Everyone has to surrender. It doesn't matter where he is surrendering. Ah. If the surrendering is correct, then the things are correct. If the surrendering is not correct, then things are not correct. This is the problem. So we are surrendering. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has explained this. Jivar Saru Phoy Nitta Krishna Dar. We are surrendering, but we are not surrendering to Krishna. This is the disease. This is the disease. And Krishna consciousness movement means to cure this disease. Oh. 
क्योर दिस डिजीज कृष्ण कम्स ऑल्सो ही सेज जदा जदा ही धर्मस्व दे धर्मस्व ग्लैनिंग डिस्क्रिपेंसीज इन द मैटर ऑफ एग्जीक्यूशन रिलीजन वेन देर इज डिस्क्रिपेंसीज कृष्ण सेज तदात्मा सिजाम हम एंड अभ्युत्थान अधर्मस्व टू थिंग्स आर देर वेन पीपल डज नॉट सरेंडर टू कृष्ण दे मैनुफैक्चर सो मेनी कृष्ण so many rascal to surrender there that is other mas dharma means to surrender to krishna but instead of surrendering to krishna they want to surrender to cats dogs these that so many things that is other ah uh, krishna did not come to establish the so called hindu religion or muslim religion or christian religion no he came to establish a uh, real religion real religion means we have to submit surrender to the real person that is real religion uh, we are surrendering everyone has got some ideas he has surrendered there either political social economical religious anything everyone has got some idea and the leader of that ideal is also there so our business is to surrender that is a fact but we do not know where to surrender that is the difficult and because the surrender is mistaken or misplaced therefore the whole world is chaotic condition we are changing this surrender to that surrender no more congress party now communist party again no more communist party this this party that party so what is the use of changing party because this party or that party they are not surrender to krishna so unless you come to the point of surrender to krishna there cannot be any peace that is the point ah uh, simply by changing from frying pan to the fire will not save you therefore krishna's last instruction is सर्वधर्मान परित्यज मामी गंग शरण अहंग सर्वे पापी भम खुश सो दि डिस्क्रिपेन्सी ऑफ रिलीजन मीन दिस इज ऑल्सो स्टेटेड इन दिस मद भाग सबई पुंसांग परो धर्म फर्स्ट क्लास और सुपीरियर धर्म परो मीन्स सुपीरियर ट्रांसेंडेंट सबई पुंसांग परो जतो भक्ति रघु खजी When we surrender to the adhokhaja, adhokhaja means the supreme transcendence, or Krishna. Krishna, another name is adhokhaja. Ahoi to ki apriti hata. Ahoi to ki means without any cause. Without any cause. Not that Krishna is uh, such and such. Therefore, I surrender. No, without any cause. अहितिकी अप्रतिहता एंड इट कैन नॉट बी चेक्ड नो बडी कैन चेक इफ यू वॉन्ट टू सरेंडर टू कृष्ण देर इज नो चेकिंग देर इज नो हिंड्रेंस यू कैन डू इट इन एनी पोजिशन यू कैन डू इट अहितुकी अप्रतिहता जी नो आत्मा सुप्रसिद्ध थी देन यू विल आत्मा योर आत्मा योर सोल योर माइंड योर बॉडी विल बी सेटिस्फाइड दिस इज द प्रॉब्लम When this thing is discrepancy, uh, one there is one verse by a learned scholar that here we are surrendering to somebody. I am not surrendering to somebody for the his satisfaction, but for my satisfaction. I join some political party because I am finding out the opportunity how I can become a minister. Or how I can capture some power by going through this political party. This is my real end. I do not go to serve the country, maybe one or two, but my real purpose is how to get some opportunity, some position. Therefore, I am not serving that party, but I am serving my ambition. Therefore. 
Sarvis means at the present moment. Sarvis means kamadinam kutidhana kutidha palita dunnidisa. Our so-called service is to serve my lust, kamadina. Ah, kam, krodh, lo, moh, masajya. We have got all these things. So somebody is serving lust, somebody is serving his anger, somebody is greediness. In this way we are serving the senses, not the particular person. Ah, when you go to the office, we serve. But you do not serve the office, but you serve the money. Because he is paying me, as soon as he says, no, tomorrow I cannot pay, then namaskar. Therefore he is serving the money. And why money? Because money will help me in satisfying my senses. Therefore I am serving my senses. Nobody is serving anyone. Everyone is serving his sense. This is the position. This is dharma sagrani bhavati. As soon as we are engaged in serving our senses, that is dharma sagrani. And as soon as we agree to serve the senses of Krishna, that is dharma. That is the instruction of Bhagavad Gita. When Arjuna was talking with Krishna, in the beginning he was trying to serve his senses. My dear Krishna, if I kill my relatives, I will be entangled in this way of sinful activities, I will go to hell. If I kill my grandfather, the other side, Dhunacharya, the other side, no, no, in this way he concluded, no, no, I shall not fight. This kind of service is to satisfy Arjuna's own senses. He thought, by killing the other party, I will not be satisfied. I will be very much sorry. That means serving my own senses. Uh, Krishna also was giving it in his statement that you are a Kshatriya. It is your duty, and there is no consideration of your relatives or your grandfather or your Acharya. When there is opponent, you must fight. That way. In this way they were talking. The talking was that Krishna wanted to satisfy his senses, and Arjuna wanted to satisfy his senses. This was going, talking. Uh -oh. But Krishna is the Supreme Lord, he is Ishara. His senses should be satisfied. Then it is service. Uh -oh. That is the whole subject matter of Bhagavad Gita. Because Arjuna denied to serve Krishna, Krishna wanted that this battlefield, this uh, Kurukshatra, what is arranged by me? You are simply an instrument, nimitta matra bhavasabhvasaj. Even if you do not fight, the, all these bodies who have assembled, they are not going back, leaving. They will be killed. Now if you like, you have to fight, but the conclusion is already there. Because puritrana sadhunam vinasaya sudhuskita. It was Krishna's plan to kill all these asādhu, duskṛta, duryodhana and company. That was his plan. Ah. So that is his business. He came to install Maharaj Yudhishthi, Dharmaraj, on the throne, and he wanted to kill the adharma, duryodhana and company. That was his business. So therefore this Kurukshatra war was a plan and Arjuna was to help him, uh, because Arjuna was a devotee, bhaktosi, sakhāceti, uh, because Krishna's friend. Everything is done by Krishna, but Krishna uh, and Arjuna is devotee. As the devotee wants to serve Krishna, similarly, Krishna also wants to give credit to his devotee. That is the business between the Lord and His devote. Uh, so uh, Krishna could do everything. He was competent, everything. But He wanted to give the credit to Arjuna. That was His plan. Uh, Krishna has already done everything. Uh, but Arjuna, as a common man, he was talking with Krishna. Uh, and actually uh, Arjuna also knew that Krishna, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, 
it is my duty to serve him. This was known to Arjuna. Therefore, he is bhakta. Bhakta means who has dedicated his life to serve Krishna. That is bhakta. Sarvapadhi binin muktam tatparatte na nirmalam rishike na rishike sa sevanam bhakti ruchyat. This is bhakti definition. When one becomes freed from all designation, I am American. This is designation. I am Indian. This is designation. I am Brahmana. This is designation. I am Chhatriya. This is designation. So one has to become free from all designation. Uh, this designation is body. I am not this body. Aham Brahmasmi. I am spirit soul. Therefore, when one understands that I am not this body, I am spirit soul. I am part and parcel of the Supreme. That is self-realization. Brahma-bhūta, prasannātmā, nacho-cati nakāṅk, samas-sarveshi bhūteshu, madh-bhakti lavati panāho. This is Brahma-realization. Aṅk Brahmāsma. Then I am not this body. So long one is under the conception of this body, he is no better than the animals. So I have a go-khara. Go means cows and khara means ash. Jasyātum-buddhi kunapeti dhāti. So, so long we are in the bodily concept of life, we do not know what is our real religion. Ah, that is ignorance, mūdhā, namāṅga prapadyante mūdhā. So long we are in the bodily concept of life, with upādhi, designation, so long we are in ignorance. That is dharma sagrāṇi. Ah, in ignorance, whatever you do, that has no benefit, either for you or for anyone. So whole thing, whole world is going on under this bodily concept of life designation. I am Indian, I am American, I am this, I am that. So that kind of dharma is not dharma. Therefore Krishna says at the end of Bhagavad-gītā, sarva-dharmāṇ paritajya māme kaṁ sadraṁ bhaja. This is the Bhagavad-gītā religion. Is not Hindu religion or Christian religion or Mohammedan religion. It is the real religion between the soul and God. The reciprocation, the exchange of dealings between the Supreme and the subordinate. Now, that is called bhakti, sarvapadi vinin muktam tat paratina nirmat. Purified. When you become purified, tat paratina. Simply by engaging yourself in the devotional service of the Lord. Cheta Dharpana Mahajana. These are the verdicts of the Shastra. Uh, when our heart is clean, then we can accept this religion. Sarva Dharma Anpurita This is the religion. To accept Krishna, to surrender to the lotus feet of Krishna. This is religion. So when Krishna says, Jada Jada Hi Dharma Sagrani Bhavati. When people become uh, averse to God or Krishna, they become godless. They think themselves as God or something like that. That is dharma sagrāṇi. Uh, so naturally, here in this material world, every one of us, we have come to enjoy. Material life means enjoy. Enjoy means not real enjoyment. Uh, real enjoyment is spiritual enjoyment. Uh, <coughs> spiritual enjoyment, that is with Krishna, uh, that is not in the material world. Uh, uh, so the dharma saglani means when there is discrepancy in the understanding of spiritual identity, that is dharma saglani. Uh, uh, then Ahaṁ Brahmāsmi, this is spiritual understanding. When one understands that I am not this body, I am spirit soul, and when he begins, devotional service begins there, that will be explained in the Bhagavad-gītā. Brahmā-bhūta prasannātmā. Because we are in darkness, we are not prasannātmā. We are always morose. Although we are serving the country, the community, the family, or anything, but we are not happy because that is not our religion. When the same service 
will be converted to the lotus feet of Krishna, then he will be satisfied. Then he will be satisfied. Therefore, one learned scholar has prayed, kāma dinaṁ kutidhāna kutidhā pālitā dunni desa tīsāṅna kuruṇā jātā natrupā nopaśānti sāmpratam labdha buddhi tāmāyāta nijuṅkhamā mātu dāsī that I have sung so long the kāṁ krūd moha masajya last greediness, anger, but they are not satisfied. Uh, I have given this example that you cannot satisfy anyone by material service. The example is in our country. Mahatma Gandhi gave his the best capacity, as he understood. He still he, he could not satisfy everyone. Somebody killed him. Uh, so in this material world, so long we'll be in the material service, either socially or family-wise or community, whatever you do, you will never be able to satisfy them. They will never say that now you are completely satisfied. Because it is disorganized. It cannot be. But if you try to serve Krishna, a little service will make your life success. Salpamapiyasya dharmasya trayate mahatu bhaya. Salpamam. Very little service. If you give. Krishna is so kind. Salpamapiyasya uh, dharmasya. Just like, I'll give you an example. That's a Krishna, when he was a child, the putana demon, she wanted to kill Krishna. Uh, she did not know that everyone wants to kill Krishna God, just like Kansa. He was making plan to kill Krishna as soon as he is born. That is the plan of the demon, to kill God or Krishna. Somehow or other. But actually, Krishna is never killed. He is killed. Uh, that is the whole history. So this putana, she planned that smearing some poison on my breast, I shall allow Krishna to suck it and he'll die. That was his plan. Krishna sucked the poison as well as the putana's life. She died. But just Krishna's kindness, Krishna thought that seek this uh, demand. This Rakshi, she came to kill me by poisoning, but I have sucked her breast, therefore she is my mother. Krishna is so kind. Therefore she must get the position of my mother. Uh, so, somewhere or other, if you try to serve Krishna, Krishna is so kind. Even if you have gone with a bad purpose, Krishna will accept your service. Krishna is so kind. So why should we serve so many others? Uh, and if you serve Krishna, then other service will be automatically done. Uh, the society's service, the family's service, the country's service, social service, political service, any service, that will be complete. Why? Because Krishna is the root. Krishna is the root. If you pour water on the root of the tree, the water will approach everywhere in the tree. Uh, that is injunction of the sastra. Jathātaran mūla nisechanen tippantis taskanda bhujopa shākha tathā achyuta ijyā sarvāhanam achyuta ijyā. Because Krishna is the root. Krishna, um, bijohaṁ sarvabhūtāna aham ādhidhi devāna matta sarmaṁ prabattate iti matta bhajante vāṁ bhūdāvāva samannita. So if you try to serve the root, what are the root? Automatically everything will be served. That's like this Krishna consciousness movement. This Krishna consciousness movement is aiming at service, aiming to serve Krishna. That is the only aim. But automatically we are giving social service. Because as soon as one becomes Krishna conscious, he gives us all kinds of intoxication, all kinds of illicit sex, all kinds of meat-eating, all kinds of gambling. Is it not social service? Best social service. Uh, in America, then the government is appreciating because the people are addicted to LSD 
and they are seeing practically that as soon as a boy could come to Krishna consciousness, he gives us all this nonsense. They are spending millions of dollars, they cannot stop, but we can stop simply by war. Give up this, and he immediately gives up. Uh, so this is the fact that if you accept this dharma, sarva dharma han mame then all the problems of the world will be solved. Therefore this is needed. And to teach this education, to teach the people, the rascals, therefore Krishna comes. Jada jada hi dharma sangrani gavad. Tadatmanam si jamaham. So Krishna and Krishna's instruction identical. Don't think that Krishna is no longer. He is existing by his word. Take his word. Uh, apply practically in life and you will be happy. That is called Krishna consciousness movement. Thank you very much.